dispatches from Ukraine, provided by Forbes Ukraine's editorial team. As Russia's attack on Ukraine continues and the war rages on, reliable sources of information are critical. Forbes Ukraine's reporters gather information and provide updates on the situation. Monday, May 30th, Day 96, by Darina Antoni Oksumi. Russian troops shelled the Sumi region with banned cluster munitions. These rockets are especially dangerous because not all of them explode at once, said Dmitry Dovitsky, head of the Sumi Regional Military Administration. They fall on large areas and pose a danger to civilians. Mikolaev. Russian shelling of Mikolaev damaged 21 houses and injured one person on May 30, according to Mikolaev Mayor Oleksandr Siankevich. Kherson. A Russian artillery attack in Kherson Oblast killed a 9-year-old girl and injured two children on May 29. Fierce fighting continues in eastern Ukraine, according to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense. Russia's goal is to take full control over the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. The situation is very difficult in Sepyrodonetsk, but Ukrainian troops are thwarting Russian attacks. Russian shelling damaged 59 residential buildings, a power station, and a community center in Donbas on May 29. At least three civilians were killed and two were injured. Russia is preparing to attack Ukraine from three directions, Donetsk, Kharkiv, and Sumy Oblasts, according to the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Russia's first soldier to be tried for rape in Ukraine as the Prosecutor General's office had completed its first investigation. According to it, a Russian soldier broke into a house in a village in Kyiv Oblast killed a man, and, along with a comrade, repeatedly raped his wife. Belarus to start military drills near the Ukrainian borders on June 22, according to Belarusian military official Andrei Grivanasov, Russia has simplified obtaining its citizenship for Ukrainian children without parental care. Russia forcibly deported 232 Ukrainian children onto its territory since February 24, according to Andrei Yermak, head of President Volodymyr Zelensky's office.